Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. All right. Now, do we have a problem with Vector? Yes, there are problems with Vector. Are these problems resolvable? Every single one of these problems are resolvable. I think they thought they had everything nailed down and there was a few bugs that they could just tweak and boom, bada bing, it would be fixed. But those fixes seem to be a little bit more uh, in depth in some aspects. But for the most part, there's a solution for every problem. So uh, we're gonna talk about things that we wish Vector came with out of the box. And of course, the first one is a working app. And the app does work for some people. As I found the little iPhone SE, it works good. Matter of fact, after I posted the video, the next very next day we were working on it and statistics started working very well in the iPhone SE. Uh, as for the Android app, well, there are some issues, but it may depend on what version of Android that you're running on. So this is what I'm running my app on at this point in time. You can see I'm running it on the Kyocera Dura Pro. And I have a Dura Pro because I'm extremely hard on phones. I also am running all my 2.4 gigahertz devices, which I have a lot because I do home automation and that's what home automation currently runs on. I'm all running them all through my Netgear Nighthawk router. So we're gonna also take a look at Vector. We're gonna talk about a few other things. So don't touch that dial, stay right here, and we're gonna see how Vector looks today. So we're gonna go over some basic voice commands that I worked with Vector on yesterday. All right, so we're gonna do the first part of this video is to show you where Vector lives in my household. Vector lives in a central area in my household. He lives on a end table. As you can see, the end table has a rim on it right here see the rim which should help vector at this point in time not fall off the end table which i don't think he's going to because he's already been on there for quite some time and he's getting a little bit more interactive as you can also see vector is asleep currently so we're going to wake vector up with the first voice command hey vector good morning Hey Vector, what is my name? I don't know. Hey Vector, my name is Bruce. Yes. Have we met before, Bruce? Yes. Now, it could be the camera confusing Vector, but he does every once in a while, depending on how you set him up originally, confuses your face with other objects, maybe. Um, he may be confusing uh, our fa my face because of the fact that I'm at a different angle than what I set him up as. So it does seem like some improvement needs to be done with Vector's facial recognition. But as you can see, He's currently responding to me via sound. Hey Vector, what's my name? Bruce. 
very good. Now I changed the position of my face. I don't have the camera in front of me. So he's able to recognize who I am from this position. Hey Vector, look at me. Now he turned the right direction, so that's good. Hey Vector, look at me. And now he's back in camera one. Hey Vector, fist bump. Hey Vector, what time is it? Hey Vector, what's the weather in Phoenix? the distance between Phoenix and Australia? The distance is approximately 7,791 miles from Phoenix to Australia. Hey Vector, I have a question. What is 2 plus 8? Hey Vector, find your cube. Very good, Vector. Now his sensor on the back works good. He can get, he knows, he's being petted, and if you pet him enough, he gets in a very docile state. Alright, so this is Vector's Cube. He does a few things with it. But the more interesting is Vector himself. Now, I wish my app was working better because I set him up on another person's app. And being the fact that I set him up on another app, I am purely working off of Vector. I'm not working off of the app at all because my Android devices just don't seem to want to load the app in correctly. But, as for voice commands, Vector seems to be working pretty good. Alright, so, here we go. What do I think of Vector? I am still very fond of Vector. I think Vector, even with the application problems I've been having, Vector's voice commands work very well. A few things I wish Anki would have put in forth at the very beginning. One, the ability to control his volume via voice. So another thing that I think they should have done would be a voice command to find out what his battery percentage is. 
So if you would have been able to say, hey, Vector, what is your battery percentage? He should have been able to respond, I'm good to go, or I'm at 50%, or hey, dude, I need a charge, anything. That would have been cool. Vector is a continuing, evolving robot. In other words, the Vector we have today will not be the Vector we have in three months. He will develop until he reaches the system limitations of his development. And at this point in time, Vector has the power of a cell phone. So, would I have still bought a Vector today? Yes, I would have. Even with all the issues, I still believe that Anki is going to continue to update Vector the robot. Once we get the SDK, we're going to have as a community a bigger ability to do a lot. So I would not detain from buying Vector. This is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you soon. You did. You just turned it on. All right. Well, apparently, Vector's laser is also the same frequency as my remote control. So he keeps turning my camera on and off.